Welcome back to my channel. It's Diana here, Lady Dies Crafty Creation. Uh, yes, long time. Uh, I think I haven't been on here for at least three weeks. I don't need. I didn't even check to see when my last video was, but I have been busy in my craft room and um, yeah, making things for uh, family in BC, making things for people here. So I have been a busy bee, but now some of those things are wrapped up and I can't show you. <laughs> Uh, anywho, um, first of all, I just, um, want to share some beautiful cards that I got in the mail for Christmas. And, and then I have a mystery box, um, from Cricut that I ordered and I got that in and a couple of things or actually one thing from Amazon and then a project share. Anywho, let's get on with it. Um, I got this beautiful card from Cheryl T. I absolutely love this. It says Merry Christmas here with the ornament. Cute little string that she put on here. Um, little blingies. Actually, these are sequins, and I never even thought of using sequins like that. A great idea. And uh, put the plaid in the back. I love this. I did have them hanging. <laughs> I had to take them down because I had to share them. And inside, she sent some cut aparts, which um, I'm going to be using because I got to make some more um, cards. This one says Noel, and I love these little deer. Did you um, color these? Super cute. Color them, and then uh, this one's just out of paper. But uh, and then had a die. Super cute, or not a die? Yeah, a die. Sinking stamp. And uh, then this one here, super cute, great. Thank you so much for this. That was from Cheryl T. She does not have a YouTube channel. She has a um, Instagram, which I will link down below. And inside her card, she just put Diana, have a wonderful holiday season and a happy new year uh, from Cheryl T. And yes, like I said, I will uh, link her down below for her Instagram. So thanks again there, Cheryl, so appreciate it. And then she also had in the back here, and made by uh, uh, Cheryl T. Yeah, I need to um, get some of those things. <laughs> it says handmade. I do have the handmade ones that I got from Dollarama. And then I got this beautiful card from Thelma. Uh, thank you so much, Thelma. Love it. The coloring is awesome. I mean, I try and color. I just, you know, I just can't get it. <laughs> I used to when I was younger, but now I don't know. Anywho, I absolutely love that. So what she did was colored it in, and then she cut it out. She put some cute little um, snowflakes. This is what I was looking for in my stash the other day, small ones like this. Couldn't find anything. Then down here, she put Merry Christmas, and then put a couple little blings. In uh, the background, she's got this nice uh, foil paper, and then this uh, green paper with like little snowflakes on it. And it's like it got a texture to it, too. Did you take a pen? Maybe she took a pen and dabbed everything. What If she did, that was a great idea. And then inside, she sent me this super cute um, Memdix card. It says, Merry Christmas. Again, she colored this. Awesome job, Thelma. Love this little girl on a, on a sled. And... And in the back, she's just got um, Thelma Hall in 2022. And then she tucked inside um, the card there it was her address. What a great idea. Yeah, a little place here where you can, yeah, put it. Great idea. Absolutely love that. Thank you so much, Thelma. And then inside the card, she's just got put um, Merry Christmas here. And then the strip of washi tape, ho, ho, ho. And then it just says, Happy New Year, Diana and family. Hope you have a great Christmas uh, with family, Thelma. Super great. I love it, Thelma. Thank you so much. And up here, she's got 2022, which I always forget to do. And I don't even know if I'm going to get my cards out this year again. It's crazy. I don't know. We got like two days. Two days until Christmas Eve, right? I'm filming. Today is Thursday. Yeah, Friday, Saturday is Christmas Eve. And then on the back, she put this um, washi tape. This is really nice in the back of the envelope. So thank you so much to Thelma and Cheryl T for those cards. Absolutely love them. Um, the next thing I'll show you is um, my Amazon. 
I got these uh, molds in, which I didn't think I was going to get because they were coming from China, and I just ordered it and thought, well, I'll have them for next year. But I did get them in. Absolutely love them. Sorry, I think I just knocked the camera. Um, this says Merry Christmas, and inside here is the little house, the tree, and um, the little deer. I don't know if you, yeah, can, is that better? I should have grabbed some paper. I don't have any paper. I have this cardboard that I was painting on. I wonder if that'll, is that a little better? I don't know. Should have had some black paper handy. Anyways, I did do this one for my mom, and it turned out really, really nice. Uh, yeah, but it's wrapped and in the box ready to go. <laughs> I'm like, after I wrapped it, I'm like, oh, man, I was going to share that. But I will have that one for next year. And then this one here is, it says Merry Christmas in the middle here. And I think these are angels. I'm not quite sure. Then just with the snowflakes. And I didn't do this one. And it also came with these um, snowflakes. Yeah. And what you can do is it makes it like a charm. You take, sorry about the crinkling. Yep, I should have taken these out beforehand. Oh, you guys, I'm so sorry. I know it makes it really loud. Um, it came with um, the string and some beads. And what you do is, get that out of the way. You have this one here, and then there's a hole. You do the string, and then you can put one of these with some beads, which are these beads. And then you have this here. And then uh, you put, then you hang one of, am I making sense? I sure hope I have one of these stars down below. So it makes it like a really nice charm. I didn't do that for my mom because she doesn't really have a whole lot of space to hang stuff. So, yeah. So next year, I think I will be making a few of those. The only thing is with this, it only comes with, um, only comes with four of these. And then, of course, it's beads, well, white beads you can buy anywhere. But these, I don't know where I can find these. Anywho, so that was the only thing from Amazon. I was really actually happy to um, receive that. So my next thing that I did, I decided to go get the um, mystery box for Cricut. This is the second time I've done it. This time it ended up being like $80. It comes to 50 some dollars but then of course it converts all into into uh from american to canadian blah 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 right the exchange but i do not remember paying that much last time like last time i thought it just was the normal 50 some dollars even with canadian it was just kind of strange but anyways it was still a good deal because i got some iron on and some vinyl so the first thing that came in the box were these pens that go with your Cricut. Um, and it was the gel pen set and it's the peacock set, which is the pink, um, the purple, the black, and the blue. And I um, can't think what color this is. It's not green, turquoise. Yeah. So got that with it. Um, got these cards, which they're called getaway cards. This is the sampler. Um, it looks really interesting if you, I don't even know how to explain it. So maybe just Google it, getaway cards um, for Cricut. But I think I need a mat with a sleeve to slide it in. So when it cuts it out, uh, yeah, I, there's no way I can explain it on here because I will totally have you guys confused. But it came with this, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to have to get the sleeve that I need for that. It came with this foil transfer sheet. It's the metallic sampler. Um, I think... I think... Was this all the same color? Or was it not? Yeah, that's really thin. You know, there's a, a few different colors. There's the light gold, the darker gold, and the white... Is it silver? Like it's really thin. Yeah, I think it's just the, this kind of gold, which is like a copper, eh? This kind of gold and then the white off-white. So 
So that was the foil transfer. I have no idea how to use this. Gonna have to Google that. Then it came with a um, bag for a wine bottle that you can actually put some iron on onto it, and um, which I've been doing just a lot of fun, and uh, you know use it as a gift. So it came with one of those, and it came with uh, a sampler of this is just regular premium premium premium. In. Okay, just gonna get tongue tied there. Not even gonna go with it. <laughs> The vinyl. This is the permanent. Jeez, I'm really having a problem jacking here talking. And it's the bright sampler. Um, I do believe it comes with the red, blue, yellow. I think it was like all the rainbow colors. So yeah, yellow, blue, red, green. And I think there was a pink in here, I want to say. I don't really want to open it because I already have these colors on the go. So it came with that. And you know, I'm sorry, I have no idea what how much like each sheet is i want to say it can't be 12 by 12 12 by 24 i want to say and then and the next one was this glitter iron on in the gold which i absolutely love this is the reason why i got it was because of the iron on i mean you look at one of these rolls and you're paying in michael's at least 20 to 25 dollars a roll or even more it depends what you get so got this one. I really, really like this. This would, would have been great for Christmas, but any time of year, but next year. And then I got this one here is the adhesive foil, the glossy metallic gold. I think I have some of this already kind of like this in my stash somewhere, somewhere in this craft room. But uh, then again, I don't know why they don't have um, the, uh, I want to say they're 12 by 24. Whoops, sorry, I just knocked you why they don't have the uh, measurements on there. And then the last thing was uh, this everyday iron on the Kelly Green, which this is what I really needed when I was doing um, my other projects for the iron on, but that's okay. We got this for next year plus the other one. So yeah, it picked up that. So you think for even I paid 80, I think it was 81 something. You think I got four of these rolls. So say even 20 bucks each that's eighty dollars just in the roll between the iron on and the vinyl and then you got all this kind of a little extra right then of course you can't go without getting your little cricket guy which this guy is in it's like a red they called it a different color and he is so super cute they are so super cute i got from my other one i got a yellow one they're so cute i love these guys if only we could just buy them by themselves. See, this guy looks fatter. <laughs> See? Yeah, he looks like he's got a little bit of a different head, or is it just me? <laughs> but super cute. I love these guys. I'll also keep them out. Put them over there. I need a place where I need to keep them. Anywho, so that was that project, or not project share, but that's what I got from... The mystery box for Cricut. The last thing I need to show you is, I don't know, I think I showed you these stockings that I made, just quickly cut them out, went around and sold them. I think I am going to make these well, better next year. The sewing's going to be a little better, like a little more. But anyways, um, I did the iron on. I think I shared this, I think, on my last video. But I love this iron on, so I did the baby... Baby, it's cold outside. Did this one in Merry Christmas. And then the kids, I did um, them all in the hot cocoa and Christmas movies. This one I needed the green for. That darker green would have been better. But that's okay. I love this iron on. It is absolutely fun to do. So, did that. And then I was playing around last night. I picked up these. Um, I think these are bath towels for the bathroom. But I got them at Dollarama. I didn't want to go crazy spending lots of money. And I think they were only like $2.50 for two, I want to say. So I wanted to try the iron on. So I did this um, for Amanda for her kitchen. And this one says Mom's Kitchen. And that little guy, this little guy, I love this little guy. He is really doing the trick for what I need. But I think I, think I might invest in a um, bigger one. 
the press, the yeah, easy press. I think I will, not the big, big one, but yeah, I think I will actually invest in that. Right now they're on sale, I think, for 150 bucks at Michael's. Anyways, it turned out really super cute. I did this one, Mum's Kitchen. So she can just hang them in the kitchen, I guess. I, I don't know she want have five kids and white towels, hey? Mmm. <laughs> but uh, so I did that one. And then I found this one on my Cricut. It says, Bake Someone Happy. So I did this one. And it, yeah, it went on really, really, really good. So it is, it is definitely a fun a fun craft to do. I saw I'm enjoying it. So I think maybe throughout the year, maybe Valentine's and I don't know, I get into making some things, try and get them online and sell them. I mean, you know, I sit in my craft room and just make things for people. I need to, again to start mm -hmm. making things and trying to sell them. Anyways, um, that I think is it. Uh, yeah, it was just my Amazon, my mystery box and that quick Twick, um, twick, twick, <laughs> quick, um, project share. I think that's it. Looking around to make sure before I get off of here. <laughs> right now I'm just going to uh, print off all the kids' um, names because I picked up um, the big popcorn buckets. You know, you've probably seen them at Dollarama. You can get the smaller ones. I got the big one, and I'm going to put Amanda and Renee on it, and then I bought the other size and I'm going to put the name, kids names on that so just going to do that with the vinyl and yeah and I think that's pretty well it for finishing off Christmas gifts I just have to work on my daughter's birthday which I think is tomorrow yes the 23rd is tomorrow right yeah so but she's not getting it in time because it's got to be sent out to BC Anywho, um, thanks again, you guys, for um, popping in and watching my video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or leave a comment. Um, I guess this will be my last video until after Christmas. So I wish every each and every one of you a very merry, 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 merry Christmas. And I hope you all have a um, be safe. Have a great time with your families. Be safe. Lots of snow is supposed to be coming, especially for us people living in Ontario. But I see BC got um, slammed with snow. So, yeah. Anyways, again, you guys have a great Christmas. And we will all see you. All see you. I will see you all <laughs> in the new year. Take care. Love y'all. Bye.